Hey, this is Tommy, and uh, I can also be found on Instagram at helpwithgadgets.edc. And what we're doing today is a short little review of the uh, Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Now, I've liked uh, these the design of Giant Mouse knives for a while, and uh, I mostly like them uh, except for a few things, and we'll go over that here in just a bit. Um, this one's actually on loan, loan to me from um, my nephew, and uh, he's uh, graciously allowed me to uh, uh, borrow some of his knives to review. So again, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Let's do uh, some size comparisons to begin with. All right, we'll start off with another Giant Mouse knife giant mouse knife that would be the ace tribeca and guys i'm, I'm sh when i shoot these videos i'm not going back and uh and and uh redoing them if i can help it so if i make a mistake you just laugh uh, at me with me and we'll keep on going also the migaram morial okay and i mentioned uh before about the uh some things that I liked about or didn't like about the giant mouse knives. I really liked this uh, uh, Ace Tribeca, but I did not like the uh, the access to the uh, to the uh, lock bar. So I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of trim in there to uh, uh, or modifications there in order to uh, to make it better for me. All right. Next up, let's do the CJRB Pyrite. And the American Blade Works Model 1 Horncliffe. Alright. Let's get those out of the way. Up next we have the Kunwu Padre. Which you can tell is just a tad larger than the uh, uh, Ace Grand. And also a Kaiser Sparrow. That Kaiser Sparrow has been... Uh, been my daily care carry for uh, about a week or so and then next up let's do the qsp penguin and the kaiser cyber blade as you can tell the grand is bigger than the uh, kaiser cyber blade all right let's go ahead and get those out of the way this particular variant does have the um micarta handles I really or scales I really like that and it also has the um, wire clip as does the uh, the Tribeca and uh, I'm uh, I'm a fan of that uh, wire clip it uh, fits in pocket really well um, and usually um, just functions very well all right the stone wash blade on the uh, giant mouse ace grand is is great as you can tell uh, again, this is my nephew's. I can tell uh, from some of the scratches that he has carried and used this knife, which is kind of the stipulation that I have for a lot of my knives as well. If I'm not uh, if I'm not carrying and using them, they usually don't stick around uh, a long time. So we mentioned the um, access to the lock bar. Um, it's it's okay on this one on this grand. Uh, a, a lot of the um, giant mouse knives that I've tried. Um, haven't been very good in that department, so I wish that was something that that might would be changed in the future. All right, uh, I noticed on this one the uh, centering is not very good. Um, however, the uh, there's not any play, um, there's not any detent lash, um, so I may have to take this one apart for him. And see if I can figure out what's going on with that. And see if I can get that centered up a little bit better. So the the knife is very comfortable in hand. It's not uh, um, it's not going to uh, to probably pain your hand to use it for for any extended amount of time. I love the way the jimping up here uh, falls in just the right place for your thumb, or if you're holding it. In this in this position, um, your finger falls on that as well. 
it's a crown spine so it's it's a very comfortable uh knife to hold it pockets well and uh so that's pretty much it it's a it's a nice uh nice knife um with the aforementioned issues other than that uh, uh really like it Re reversible pocket clip uh, it's got a nice back spacer lanyard hole if you if you enjoy that sort of thing um it's not the uh, lanyard hole is not in the way so it's all good um and again it's uh not not a bad blade not a bad knife knife to carry and uh, a nice configuration that's going to do it I'm trying to keep the uh review at uh, about five minutes or so um, and see how that goes but i do appreciate you watching if you would uh, hit the uh, like button subscribe and make sure to uh to give me any any critiques below whether it be with the uh, the knife itself um, what you think about the knife or uh, even any critiques about how i may improve um, the process that i'm uh, using to to look at knives uh, again, thanks, thanks to everyone for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful evening.